Hey everybody, and welcome back to Omni Griffin Plays Rogue Legacy, or Omni Legacy. Just as a quick recap, we are currently going to be playing as Lady Lisa. We are a hookage. We have the special replacement technique where we uh, teleport and basically leave a log behind us. And we are not able to crit, but we will do lots of normal extra damage. So if we go like this dummy, I am normally hitting it for 85, uh, and I will never hit it for more. So let's get right to it. Now we are going to be trying to get up to the Maya, but I still am trying to get a lot of money just in general. We do have an axe as our spell. And I do believe that's 80 HD. Or, uh, OCD that's giving us mana back when we uh, destroy stuff. So. That is a fake. We're going to be one-shotting stuff for a good long time because of how much base damage we're doing. If you remember from last run, or if you just watched the last run, you'll remember that when we were critting as the assassin, we were doing 99, I think it was 99 damage. Which is a good bit of damage, and the fact that we're basically doing that without critting, it's just our normal base attack. You can see why this is actually going to be very, very useful. Assuming, of course, I don't take tons of damage because Hook does not have a ton of, a ton of HP. So we're a little bit more fragile. In general, you don't, we don't have as much HP or mana as a lot of our other classes. But remember, I mean, positive side is tons of damage. So we're just gonna eat our way through the castle and hopefully uh, through the jungle as well as the forest. I want to keep calling it the jungle for some reason. And we are literally one-shotting everything thus far. I really should go over and get that money. He's not paying attention. It's probably better to go this way to begin with, because chances are this is just going to dead end. Which just means that we save some time. Because we don't have to do any backtracking. Um, do I want that spell? Sure, we only have got 740. So basically we're just gonna give up a little bit of our money and get a bunch back. I do believe I've played that in the past. I'm going to keep the axe for now. Uh, the chakram, I believe is what that one is. Uh, it's not that bad. We've seen it in the past. It's been a little while since I think we've seen it, because I don't tend to take it all that often. But it's not terrible. But I think the axe will offer us more mobility. Sorry, more mobility. More... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't need those. We do not want to be entering the land of darkness. More flexibility. We are two-shotting. That's definitely a good thing. We did take quite a bit of damage. Uh, but that also means that we will slowly be healing it all back. Here is our boss fight. Well, the first boss fight, I should say. A new boss fight that I am no good at just yet. Shutting everything oh so useful. Not bad damage, but it's okay. We basically healed most of it off anyway. Oh, that guy was hidden behind the map. Well played. So I'm pretty sure we've got a little bit of the castle left. Not all that much. The reason why the axe gives us more flexibility is because when we use it, 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 it basically it arcs, which means we have the chance. Now we gotta go up this. I will get that table eventually. Basically, it, it lets us shoot through things that are both above and below us. We can, if we arc it properly, 
we will be able to basically hit anything anywhere on the screen. Whereas with the chakra, we can only hit stuff that we can get next to horizontally or vertically. Sorry, horizontally. Which means we have to position ourselves vertically to align with that. And the reason that is, is because the first time you throw it, it goes, you know, set distance away from you and then turns around and comes back. The distance which it comes back is effectively infinite, so long as there is something behind, you know, so long as there is screen, it continues. Another enemy that we did not one-shot. We did one-shot that one. Now, I'm definitely trying to go through a little bit faster, uh, and it will probably lead to me taking some, some damage, hopefully not any dumb damage, but I will definitely probably take some more damage. Just because, when it comes to playing this game, uh, the key is to always be progressing forward, and I mean always be progressing forward. You need to be constantly upgrading stuff. That was really bad. You need to be constantly upgrading your stuff, which means you need a lot of money. And the way you get money is by being, well, I don't want to say tedious. <laughs> because you can't really be tedious. But you definitely have to go through and clear everything out. And part of the nature of getting stronger is stuff like this, where you can just hack and slash your way through. And I can very much hack and slash my way through this level. So it will get a little tedious. But it will also be worth it. Because we are going to need every every single goal at some point in time. Technically not every single goal because we will waste some obviously. Unless we get a perfect spend. And it looks like there was some castle left as we are back in it. But that's okay. We will clear it out. And that's the other side of the boss fight. Unfortunately, there was really no way of knowing that there were spikes underneath that. It was kind of, kind of what I thought might be there, but uh, we'll know to stay out of that room. So let's look. We've still got up. That sounds like fun. It'll be easier to get there. So that's where I'm gonna go. Now it happens to be a dead end as well. So I've made some mistakes in jumping, which means I'm about half health, which is pretty bad, actually. It's a lot of damage to have taken. I'm gonna go down again. It's actually good for us, because each of those slimes is actually worth two kills. And we are getting a little bit back on our vampirism. Now, I have not been casting spells, and I think I'm going to start. That was interesting. I was pretty convinced I was going to take damage from running into the wizard, but I did not. Still, that's fine with me, I suppose. But every single time I destroy something, I get a single mana back, so it's pretty worth using... Probably a little bit more than I am. And since most combat I do is pretty melee centric, I tend to not use spells just out of habit. Because if you don't have a useful spell, you don't have a useful spell. And it's not worth using it. I mean, if it's, if it's easier to swing a sword, if it's truly easier to swing the sword, you, you might as well. Instead of trying to make a spell that's not all that great work for you. That was beautiful. I am leaving the drumstick in that statue. And that is because of the vampirism. I am pretty confident that I... I was pretty confident I was going to reach full health without having to use it. And that will save it for hopefully sometime when I am in some dire trouble when we finally reach the Maya. One or two more rooms in the forest, and we are pretty much set. We've almost hit 9,000 gold. Looks like we have one or two rooms 
frames left. Ah, it's one of these. Well, let's see which challenge it is. Ten daggers to destroy eight targets. I am very bad at this one. Especially because you have to jump. And remember, this is the slowest target speed. Obviously, you can see I'm not going to make it, but I might make 30 or 40 gold. Oh wow, I threw that one into the wall. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> yeah! I think my record is getting them 40 gold. I can't hit any targets. I'm not that good. If I played more casters, caster types, I think I might get better at it, hitting those knives on moving targets. But I prefer the melee combat in this game significantly. I don't think there's any particular reason for that. I just think uh, the melee combat's done really well. The, uh, the twist of being an endomorph or an ectomorph uh, the knockback its usually pretty good. I don't have all that many qualms with various types of combat at all. Sure, I hate the casters that uh, drop the spike of whatever it is. It almost looks like uh, sandstone. Sure, that caster gets annoying, but I think it's a good enemy. And it drives me crazy, so it's challenging. And I think that's important. That was very bad. It was even worse because there were a lot more rooms than I thought. Alright. We'll see if this was worth it. Because it was. I barely managed to get out of there without taking damage, but I did. Actually, short enough to get under that. Alright, so another reason why the axe spell is so useful is that I can actually use it to get in the middle of this. And while I can't collect this gold, I should be able to kill these guys, which will give me some health back. And I think my health is rarer than mana, because yeah, I just spent 26 mana killing those guys, but I just have to knock over 26 things. Alright, so that was bad. That's the only way to get into that room. And eh, maybe it's not, actually. Uh, because I don't want to have to take that risk again, uh, I am barely over half health. Yeah, that's not possible as a hookage. Um, I would say that it is for an assassin. I think that's what that room was designed for, because there's so many spikes. Now what I should do is I should just leave this be. But I'm glad I didn't, because it's a fairy chest. See, now this is actually where I need the chakra. And maybe I'll actually come back and go go back and get it. Because I can only throw the axe so far, whereas I need to throw the chakra, like, right there. So maybe I will actually come back to this. Gotcha. That was actually really awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull that off, but I did. And that will make any further venture in this direction significantly easier. We actually forgot about this path right here. So let's do this. Uh, that was really bad. I keep forgetting that they actually aim at me. And I was like, if I hold still, I have to just wait for it to pass. So, more stupid damage. We actually still have some more rooms here in the forest, but we are almost out. This room doesn't look promising. Looks like a great way for me to get damaged, though I will get 
some of my hit points back, which is pretty nice. Ah, yes, we have a journal entry. This one's actually rather hard to get to. Journal entry number 13. I slew the beast of the forest, and I have felt the throne room weaken once more. So far, my assumptions have proven correct. Each wing of the castle houses its own guardian beast. Is this designed as a test of will? If so, then I cannot fail, for I... For the further I venture, the more bold I become. Tomorrow I will scour the tower. I am on a roll. So basically, uh... Um, that was a clutch jump there. Just had to be quiet and concentrate. So basically the journals are now caught up to where we are. Which is pretty cool, actually. The irony of finding that chakra is driving me a little crazy. So I don't remember where that chakra is. I feel like it was down. They're actually part of the castle we have not explored. I think it'll actually be good for us. Yeah, I just kind of ran into that willy-nilly. It looks like it is below us. Yes, in fact it is, because the question mark is there. But I missed it on the teleportation map, and I'm not actually sure if it was even there on the teleportation map. This looks familiar. Double jump too good. Sure. We're gonna take it. Shocker. We're going to get out of here. And I'm actually gonna go all the way back to the forest right about now. Because while I'm thinking about it, we might as well just go ahead and do it. I'm actually going to just run to this teleporter since I think it's actually closer. And the closest I can get is actually there. It's kind of annoying. But we might as well. This place is going to be pretty bare. It's going to be mostly just running through. Luckily with Dash, we will go significantly faster. We'll see how well I remember this. Yep, I did choose the right direction. And I did manage to take no damage. So you'll note... Ah, I fucked that up. Oh no, I got it. So there you go, that was why I needed shock. I was hoping that if it was a room that, and actually that balance room is amazing. Um, I was hoping that if it was a, a there, there are a few other rooms that are very similar looking, but you need the ax for instead of the shock room. And I'll probably come across that room now that I've already taken the shock room. But I managed to get one charm out of it, so I can't really complain. Getting one rune per uh, getting one rune per playthrough is pretty darn good, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not gonna go back to the start again, and that's because that upper area there is where we need to go next, basically. I need to stop just running really nearly into rooms because that's the second time that I have done exactly that. Alright. Level up mini boss. Not too challenging, although this guy's now a little pissed off. Pretty darn easy. Bunch of gold. I am totally alright with this. Managed to kill him before he actually got his attack off. Which is why I flinched so hard, is because I thought it was gonna go off and I wasn't gonna be able to avoid it. So that's the Maya, and that's the Maya. So we have officially found the Maya. I think that's pretty good. Good chicken leg. Now this room is a lot easier than it looks. You just jump, 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 jump. It's all in the timing. Now, now's the time we have to start thinking about mimics. Because as we enter the Maya, we're going to start seeing mimics. And there's one room that we haven't been to. Uh, I'll deal with that later. I'm not too concerned about it. Even if it turns out to be a mini boss, it'll kind of just be what it is at that point. You're still one shotting a good number of enemies. And this one's going to be a two shot. So we are pretty darn powerful right now. Oh, sweet Jesus. I can do this. No, I can't, apparently. 
I didn't think I was going to get nailed by that. But, I did. Oh well, it was my bad play. Alright, so that was a lot more damage than I would... Man, there's so much just stuff just raining down from the sky. That, that is the only thing that makes this room so dangerous. Is where is it all coming from? We are at 57 health, though. There's a way into this, and it's, yeah, it's a dwarf or something. Still making short work of the mages. That was actually very unfortunate. We'll let that do some damage. So Shockroom has proved pretty useful to us thus far, so I really can't complain now. Alright. If I start getting too low, I will retreat. I'll retreat and look for... Health, which I know there's some chicken legs still relatively easily attainable. I'm just gonna kill these guys from below. I have no moral quandaries with this. Got him. Alright, got some other a ninja. Not a ninja, a ninja. This is an important distinction. Remember to swing at chests first in the line. This is a mini boss room. I need to leave, and now. Alright. So, it's time to go find health. Because I am stupid low right now. This way, I believe, is safer. Okay, maybe not. If I get hit by that, I'm dead. Alright. Time to go find some health. We could slowly regain it back, but it would be a long and tedious process. I'm just gonna go from every teleporter to every teleporter, basically. Since I'm not in need of mana, we already took that one. I believe this one's already taken as well. Yep. But it's always worth checking. Yep, I didn't leave that one. So, we're not in as good of shape as I would like. But instead of being at 6, we are at 60. So, every little bit does help in the long run. Darn it. Every little bit does help in the long run, but. This room will be challenging. Gotta be careful. Alright. We're still pretty much in one shot territory. I am not a fan of this room. We're going to have to go down it eventually, but until we have to, I'd rather not. Ah, yes. Journal entry number 14. I have been methodically clearing these the demons in these rooms in my quest to slay the next guardian, but I am losing track of time and other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still. Or perhaps that is the vertigo talking. I never I was never keen on heights. Or was I? I am finding it increasingly difficult to remember my past. One of the stronger themes about the game. It's legacy, obviously, and just in general one's past. I did not swing at this chest, so I very much deserve to be dead right now. Well, maybe not deserve, but probably should be. 
gonna go back the other way. I said full explore the area because I would prefer to not have to go down there. Uh, if we fight the boss, or if we have, if we find the boss, will I fight it? Very, very surprisingly relevant question. Uh, probably not. I mean, if I'm really gonna die, maybe I will, just to give the, uh... Right. Sky Helm. Got it. That is, in fact, making me twitch. All my mana, yes, but giving me back health. I don't use my mana enough, and I have these mana potions pretty much everywhere. I just got wrecked. I had to jump on him, too. Lady Lisa has been slain by a worgen. But you'll notice that we have gone... I want to say it's going to even go five rows. Yeah, we were in the fifth row. It's a lot of enemies, and that is a lot of gold to spend. So let's pick our next heir. I am still looking for a dragon. Oh, but do I turn down Lich Queen with Crow Storm? And OCD... Now, it does have a glycoma club. I'm never gonna be able to say that right. Spell sword of Barbarian Queen would be really useful though. The blade wall is slightly annoying. The Lich is gonna be really, really useful though. Gonna get up to full mana and health stacks pretty fast. And be able to wipe a room. But you know, we're really not expecting the magic all that much. Let's reroll. Let's just see what happens. I'm still looking for a dragon. Well, we got another hookage. Quantum Translocator is actually a really fun. Let's do it, Lady Antoinette. The hookage. All right, so we've got a ton of money. We got sixteen thousand, which is pretty sweet. Let's see. We probably want to spend it where we can, but we could. Probably also work on armoring up a little bit more. Having some pretty good death defy would be nice, but I'm not all that concerned about it. Oh man, this is this is where decisions are hard because we don't have something very obvious to run to, like gold gain up. Well, let's just upgrade the miner. Let's just do it. We don't get anything else for it, but I think it's worth doing. Let's take a quick look at what we've got in the armory. I don't think it's worth it for an extra 10% gold. That'd be a lot of investment into the weight. We do have this. That would be very nice. Increased health and mana. But once again, that's three tiers in weight. This would be nice. We really just need to upgrade a lot of our weight. We have, do not have very many blueprints. But we did get a balance rune, and I don't know where that was for. That was for our cape. Uh, so I'm actually going to be switching off of this bounty rune to a balance rune. And the reason for that is that is going to give us some HP and mana for killing things. So now we're going to be getting 4 HP and 2 mana, I want to say. Because we have a vampirism rune there that we are using, and a balance rune there, so 1 plus <laughs> one plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. We're basically 1 from each of the balances, so 2 and 2, and then 2 from the vampirism, so 4 and 2. I don't think they're good enough just yet. I would like to just increase strength in general. There's a lot. To upgrade here. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is this. Increase our potions so they're going to, our potions and health are going to just in general be better. 
Is there any way I can spend just a single thousand? Uh, actually, possibly yes. That's going to go up in cost. We're going to be just under a thousand, actually. It's very unfortunate. I'm going to increase some of our armor. I think we're going to go a little hard in on this. 1057. What can we do with that? I knew there was stuff we'd be able to do, which is why I didn't hesitate too much. Hopefully that'll help us survive a little bit more. There's only so much you can do at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we will invest in this. That'll leave us with 47 gold, which means we did a pretty efficient spend. We're hoping again, so we're doing 85 damage. It's going to be a pretty similar run to this one, but hopefully I will not take as much stupid damage. Also, look at that. Wow. This is a much more utility based spell. It's not letting me go back to it. That's kind of bad. I wonder if that's a bug. Well, we'll find out next time what's going on with this. Hopefully you enjoyed the run, hopefully you learned something. I know I'm having some fun racking up some money and buying new stuff. And hopefully improving to the point where we will be able to take out the last boss. Well, sorry. The, th the boss of the Maya. The last boss of the Maya. I don't know what I was going for there. But yeah, hopefully we are getting stronger and stronger, and this will be totally doable. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you next time.